Hi there, my name is Monique Parent, and I am going to teach you how to go gray. I started going gray naturally when I was about 17, so I have been coloring my hair for over 30 years, and it feels like I've been chasing that white stripe in the top of my head forever. I decided that I wanted to go with my natural gray color, but my options for going gray naturally are pretty much shave my head and start over. And my hair is pretty short, but I'm not really ready to shave my head. And the other option is to just let that white stripe get wider and wider and wider, and that's not very attractive. Every hairdresser that I talked to wanted me to blend the gray, but not embrace the gray. So I'm going to show you how to embrace the gray. What I did was I went to my hairdresser and I said, bleach it out white. It's been about a month since I had him do that. You can see I've got a little bit of new growth here. And it's been nice for me because I've discovered that I've got more dark roots than I thought I was gonna have. But what's really nice is that right here in the top, you can see the gray is blending in and I don't have a line of demarcation anymore. Bleached my hair out white and then toned it with semantic panic and got to a gray color and this is about mm, I'd say three months later and I'd like to just show you the process um, I've got about 50 50 new growth now so you can see where it's sort of ombre out this is my natural it's much darker back here but as the salt is coming in it's blending nicely my main white patch right here on the top you can see really no line of demarcation at all and i'm really tickled with that and i like all of the shading that's coming in back here i'm thinking i'm going to grow my hair a little bit just because i really want to see what color gray it ends up being i have a feeling it's going to be pretty fun i think it's going to be light here and then darker back here Today on Going Gray, we are going to go even grayer. I'm gonna use the same Manic Panic Blue Steel that I originally used to get my gray color, but I want to enhance this gray that I've got coming in. Uh, I'm naturally blonde, so you're seeing my natural ash blonde color mixed with the white that's coming in. And it just gives it a, it's a little dull. I'd like it to be a more vibrant silver. So. To start, I'm really happy with the white tones that I have coming in here. So I don't really want to alter that. I just want to take this, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little tiny bit of the yellow cast on the bleached area. So this is going to just cover that and tone it and give it a little more of a silver color. And then in this undertone back here, I want to actually deepen the gray a little bit. So I'm going to go from Okay, so let's see, my natural part is right here. I'm gonna take So we're gonna do the Manic Panic one more time. Uh, gonna try it straight, not adding any pastelizer or conditioner or anything with it. Just straight Manic Panic. I do not want to alter the color of my whitest patch. My, because it's growing in, you can see it's, it's right there growing in well so I don't and it's almost lavender now I did hit it with the purple conditioner didn't wash it just rinsed it out and then put on a little purple conditioner because my hair was feeling a little dry today but definitely a silver color manic panic blue steel full strength so real quick before I run off to my meeting I just thought I'd give you a quick look at the hair color took it out in the Sun but it was just a little too bright to show you there and there might not be enough daylight when I get back home. But using the Manic Panic with nothing added, just straight Manic Panic, I got this nice silver tone. That, that made the cats take off. <laughs> okay, slightly damp. Certainly not attractive. 
Let's give it a go. Oh, by the way. You can see that dry shampoo gave me a lot more body in my hair. Dry shampoo is a really a great way to throw in a little body in your hair, even when it's not the second day. My hair's gonna lay over that, so if that's not a real precise line, it's not gonna matter. Okay. Now our goal is to get these flat, 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 flat. Now the instyler spins like that when you're using it. I always like to hit it twice just in case I missed anything. This one, I really want to get a lot of volume right there at the root. Okay. And just to make sure, a little hairspray. Next. Another section. Guess it how it's working because I can't see. And then I always say, make sure you look at the back. Even if it's with a mirror that your black cat broke for you. There's always stuff going on back there that you don't know about. I hope you're liking my videos. Um, please subscribe. Check out my website, uniquemonique.com. I've got uh, information about my acting career there. I've also got product information, and I do post some product information below. I use a lot of stuff that is just products you'd find at the grocery store or drugstore. I don't think you have to spend a fortune to look like a million bucks. Have a great day.